Ah, Splitgate. I've had so much fun playing this game, and I thought that it would be a good idea to make a simple review of Splitgate. After playing hours of this game, I realized that what the internet was saying about it is actually very accurate. Splitgate is what you get if Halo and Portal had a baby. Seriously. The weapons in this game are extremely similar to the ones in Halo, down to the name, recoil patterns, accuracy, sounds, it's all very like Halo. The maps are awesome, many different places to fight in, from woodlands to almost an alien-like museum. It's all very unique and memorable. The portal aspect of it is something that enhances the combat and will make you check your back every 3 seconds. If you've ever played the portal games, then you probably know where I'm going. You can fire a portal on a special surface which is laid throughout the map. Firing this portal will make one side, select another place and fire again, thus finishing the portal. You, allies, and enemies can go through, but they can't see through. This makes a whole buttload of playstyles. If you're the kind of person who likes to be able to go really deep into the enemy's back line and always have a safe way out, you can set up a one side of your portal near your spawn, then run around, and once you need to get out, you just place the other side of the portal and go through. I made a uh, little mistake here. The portal, you don't fire and then one portal goes out and you fire another one. There are two different buttons that uh, shoot two different kinds of portals. Once again, if you've played Portal before, you'll understand what this is. There's a yellow one and a purple one. Purple one's the exit and yellow one's the entrance, I'm pretty sure. You can go through the exit and come out the entrance. It does work like that, but... Uh, just what I'd like to bring up, so it's not like you're forced to press random buttons. You can actually get really creative with the way you handle this stuff. Uh, closing it again will close a certain portal. So like, if I press Q or whatever and I make my entrance uh, high on the wall and then I make an exit down on the floor, I can jump out through that. And then if I want, I can close the entrance by and only the entrance by pressing the entrance button. I made a mistake here, I, I needed to point this out because it's actually a little more complicated. The tutorial teaches all of this and it actually teaches, teaches it well. And I forgot to put that in the video so I'm putting it right now. You can also close your portals whenever you want, aka destroying it. You can fire through these portals making it very useful for finishing off a low health target who is behind cover. But beware, everybody has grenades that destroy portals. They don't do damage, but if someone finds your escape routes, they can destroy it. Once again, similar to Halo, the game modes are almost identical. Team Deathmatch, Team Shoddy Snipers, 2v2, Free For All, MVP, King of the Hill, Teabag Confirmed, and Team Oddball, my favorite. And many, many more. I like to put one end of my portal somewhere high and out of sight, then grab the ball and Team Oddball and run around and use my portal a lot. I can win that game mode without dying and without the enemy scoring at all. It's great. You can put your portal up on the ceiling and drop down on enemies. I've done it once to a kid and it went something like this. Oh, these are pretty cool bananas. <laughs> I'd like to point out that you have jetpacks in this game, which is just another way of amplifying the gameplay, getting more creative, all kinds of stuff. It's really cool. I hope this helps. The game is amazing, and the portal aspect of it just makes it so much more creative and fun. I recommend you go check it out. It's free on Steam. About 40 gigabytes, I believe. And hey, Dr. Disrespect plays it, so go join the Champions Club right now. No, seriously, he's live as I'm typing this. I hope you have a great day, and remember, life is short. Play great games.